be asking me questions? Why I be asking you? Why the fuck you asking me questions? So many questions. I understand it now because I just sat down and I thought about it. I said, damn. If I'm from the same corner, another nigga from, and that nigga get up off that corner and start bringing in a hundred big ones at you, motherfucker. I'm not talking about a hundred dollars, nigga. I'm talking about a hundred gems, nigga. I'm not fucking me. I got a lot of questions too, right? <laughs> Supposed to have a motherfucking question, but niggas always act like they don't understand what's going on. I be telling niggas straight up. I give them the game. That's a gift. Here you go, baby. You know what they do? They look at me like I'm trying to pull a fast one on them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna get to you right after I used it. Once I bang them one time, I hit a lick. I'm gonna let you go and go do it if you can fucking keep your head together enough to get yourself in a position. But, I mean, you wanna play stupid, be stupid, stay stupid, stay broke. You know what I'm saying? That's my motto. You know what I'm saying? For me, I'm gonna take it in. I'm gonna absorb everything that's going on and get what I can get. Ain't no school for this shit, stupid. Ain't no school for this shit. You gotta be smart enough to pick up the information as you go. Now the crazy shit is niggas that look like you doing something wrong. Why do wrong? If you can find a nigga that can tell you that I own something, one nigga, find one nigga that can say, yo, that nigga 50 owe me something, or he won't call you boo-boo because he won't act like he knew me before we actually got on and shit like that. If you can find a nigga that say I own something, or my mother, I'll give him whatever you say I own, but because I can't remember a nigga doing nothing for me, nigga. Now I'm motherfuckers say you crazy, nigga call me crazy, you know I be thinking when they say that? Nigga say I'm crazy, I be thinking, yo. Yeah. I was crazy enough to believe what the fuck I was saying gonna happen was gonna happen. And that's why I was persistent enough and persistent enough to exist now. Feel what I'm saying? So, later on y'all can check it out. I know that nigga be reading 48 Laws of Power of Robert Greene. Now you gonna read the 50th law. Cause I don't got with Robert Greene to create the new shit for you to read, nigga. See what I'm saying, man? Yeah, nigga, come on, man. Don't play with me that shit. Oh, 33 strategies of the war, the art of seduction. Come on, man. All that shit come from the hood, B. It's a parallel between corporate America and the hood. And it's obvious you see me winning, don't you? And fuck the old timers is looking like, yo, that young boy, he, he, he took a page out of my book. But they ain't make all of that fucking money off it that I made off it. So what that make me? That make me a better version of them niggas. The old school niggas. I mean, you check out Faze Magazine, Felons Magazine, fucking Don Dee and all that shit. For real, you can't really see a nigga just trying to reflect on the glory things. Baby, I had 10 breaks. Then I had I bought you a gold watch, didn't I? I don't hear that shit. Tell me that shit. You see what I'm saying? Now, this is just the point right here where I don't want to see a nigga who had it and you know, don't got it no more. Really, I think them books is there in order to make niggas remember that shit because they ain't ready to do that shit that they did then now. You see what I'm saying? So now they want to reflect on that shit so they can make the young boys feel like that they that hard or that serious so they put it in like that. And then they get the young boys to do it. They ain't fucking doing nothing. So he's explaining me like, when I'm coming up, niggas is like, yo, who want him? Like, who get with? Me, nigga. I'm by myself, nigga. I do what the fuck I want to do. You understand what I'm saying? Like, the young niggas love me. They love me. You know why they love me? They think like me. They feel like me. And even after I play basketball, they smell like me. Nigga, we the same. We come up the same corners. We ain't had much. You understand what I'm saying? You just gotta hustle. Nigga, I go hard, man. You see me playing games, man? Niggas got it. I'm gonna get it. Trust me. I'm gonna get mine. I don't know about y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? That niggas some bullshit. I don't shoot a nigga over and step on my shoe type shit. Oh, he, he fuck the same bitch I fuck with. Yeah, then you gotta up your game so that bitch is from somewhere else. Come on, man. Real shit, man. Like, I mean, like, I, don't, I don't even know what to say to niggas, man. I go to my hood and he's like, yo, what up? I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I'm talking to this nigga. What the fuck am I talking to this nigga? Boy, you know what my grandfather told me? You don't get as far as the motherfuckers you talk to for no reason. You'll be successful as the motherfuckers that you talk to for no reason. What I mean is, if you're spending your day talking to a nigga that ain't got nothing going on, what the fuck kind of information can he offer you? Can he help you learn something? Can he teach you something in the conversation? Leave me the fuck alone, man. Y'all niggas 